Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole Hewson and thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I have a really exciting haul for y'all and that is an Abercrombie and Fitch haul. This and Hollister used to be my absolute favorite brand in middle school and honestly it ruined the brand for me back then because I just wore these giant logo t-shirts with huge mooses on them but luckily my fashion taste has evolved and so has the brand and i'm so excited to show you these pieces from abercrombie and fitch and everything is in a fall color palette so i'm just so excited these are perfect for getting cozy and getting ready as the temperatures start to drop and everything will go with everything because they're in the same color palette so i'm so excited for this haul but before we begin don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up it really helps me out as a small creator go ahead and hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time i upload a new video which is mondays and thursdays so without further ado let's get started so the first outfit I have from Abercrombie & Fitch is this dress that I'm currently wearing. It is so soft in this beautiful camel color and I just love how the sleeves come out and then come in around the wrist. I love the tie on the front. It's super flattering and forgiving on the side because it's not body tight but you still get shape if you have a little mm, something up here. <laughs> and I'll go ahead and give you a 360 view. And I just think it is the perfect base dress for fall. You could easily dress this up with a cute necklace or a cardigan or some cute fall boots. And I just think it is such a staple piece in the wardrobe. So this dress was about $65, which is on the expensive side when you were comparing it to H&M or ASOS or some of the Zara stuff, but it's so soft. It seems so well made. And this is one of those investment pieces that you spend a little bit more on. So your entire wardrobe looks more expensive. And I will show you this paired with my new favorite fall handbag. It's just such a stunning color that I feel like it just looks so expensive. And when paired with a cute handbag, I just think this outfit looks so expensive, so put together, so clean with the colors and the lines, and I am a huge fan. Next up is this very preppy number with this plaid skirt with a very cute slit in the side and this sweater that is actually a bodysuit, which is so perfect because a lot of the times when I'm tucking my sweaters into things, they'll bunch up, they'll come up. You can see like that line of my stomach, but with this, I can raise my arms, I can dance around, and I'm not worried about the sweater coming up or out of the skirt, and it fits so nicely. This is a thong bodysuit, which is great because you don't have to worry about panty lines, but definitely something new to get used to. I'm not used to wearing <laughs> my shirt into that area. This is so soft. I'm a little afraid to wash this. I'll be excited to see how it fits after, but it's so cozy and it's just as soft on the inside as it is on the outside, which I find a lot of tops and dresses aren't. Like they look nice and cozy, but they're actually like scratchy because they just put a whole different material on the inside. And I'm just like, I don't get it. I would rather feel cozy on the inside and then have the scratchy fabric on the outside because no one else is touching me. Well, they shouldn't be, especially in COVID time. I got a size medium and I think it is perfect because it is tight, so it gives you a little wiggle room. I am 5'9", so I was very worried about how the bodysuit would fit on me being a very tall girl as well as being a busty girl, but it fits fine. There's definitely a stretch to the fabric, which gives it some forgiveness. And the skirt, I also got the size medium, which I was freaking out about before I got here because I realized I'm a little bit more of a large. As I've gotten older, my hips have definitely gotten a little bit wider, which is perfectly normal, but it means that some of my old things don't fit and my old sizes. But this is a medium and there is stretch to it. So it fits perfectly. I would almost recommend sizing down because if you were a true medium, I think this might be a little bit big on you, but I just love how everything fits. It's not too tight. It doesn't look like I went the wrong size, but it's fitted. And I just think this looks so preppy and I love this outfit. So we have another win. I'm so happy. Next up is this faux leather ruched skirt. And I thought the other one was my favorite. I was wrong. This is so cute. It definitely gives it more of a nighttime or edgier vibe than the other skirt. The other one's very much a daytime skirt. But y'all, the fit of this is insane. It has this stretchy part here in the back, like the leather, I don't know how they do it. It's almost like stretchy, but I was a little worried that this wasn't gonna fit when I saw it on the hanger, but this fits 
perfectly because of this ruching it is so forgiving so you can eat a big meal i love the design it looks so good i'm a little worried about washing this skirt but overall i think this is gorgeous i just paired it with the same sweater bodysuit as the other skirt which just goes to show you how versatile all these pieces are I really like getting everything in the same color theme because then everything goes with everything and you can really mix match your pieces and get the most outfits for your buck, which is so important. Anyway, this is so cute. I'm so happy I got this and I just feel so chic. <laughs> There's always bound to be one item in a haul that just isn't quite what you expect, but this one is very disappointing because this was the piece that actually got me onto the Abercrombie and Fish website. And I was so excited for this to come. And then when I was checking out, I saw all the related items and that's where I got the rest of this. But I was so pumped for this. And from the very front, from certain angles, it looks cute. But then you go to the side, that is so unflattering from the back. I just feel like I look I feel like I look like I took a blanket and just draped it over my shoulders. There's no sleeves in this. It really is just like a cape draped over you. And I feel like if I did this, like it, it's just a cape, <laughs> which is fun and it, it is warm and it is soft and it goes with everything, but I'm just not sure if the shape works. Maybe you could belt it, but I think overall it's a very cute pattern. It's very soft and just a matter of how you like things fit. So the last item in my haul is this tank top bodysuit. And yes, same idea as the last one. I love the bodysuit for how it just fits into pants and it looks so effortless and chic, but in reality, there are like fabric pieces holding it together. I like how this looks, things I really like about it. I love this cowl neck. I don't know what, droop neck, swoop neck, whatever you wanna call it. I love this look, but I feel like a lot of the ones I get swoop down and show cleavage, or I feel like something's gonna fall out, or if I bend down, you're gonna get a view of something. But with this one, it's high enough up that I feel like I could easily wear this and not worry about overexposing myself. I'm not worried about side boob or under boob. The only thing, speaking of boobs, is that I'm not sure what bra to wear with this top. I will show you the back. And I just feel like a strapless bra would show in the back, but it is such a thin material and I don't know what it is. I am always cold, therefore headlights are always on. I'll leave it at that. I'm pretty sure you can see it in the camera, but hopefully, I mean, I'm not monetized, so I don't think I can demonetize. And if nipples demonetize, like, that's so, I'm getting off track here. This wasn't the easiest piece to put on as terms of size wise. This one wasn't quite it for me. I definitely wish I had gone a size up so I might try it in a larger size, but I think the color is gorgeous. I think it could match with almost anything. And I think this is a gorgeous piece. I just think the sizing wasn't on par with everything else. And I'm not sure the undergarments because I feel like even if I wore chicken cutlets, the not chicken cutlets, but like pasties. Even if I wore pasties, this fabric is so thin that I feel like it would show. And I love that the fabric is thin. I love the way it drapes. I love the movement in the top. I just feel like I'm not sure what to wear. Maybe I'll look at this footage and it won't be as bad as I think it is, but I mean, you can definitely tell, I, I think. Let me throw something on for this outro so that if they are on, you know, we have more family friendly content. Well, that was everything in my Abercrombie & Fitch fall haul. I really hope you liked it. If some of these pieces aren't your color, they come in many different colors, many different options, many different sizes. So there is inclusivity for all. I'm not sponsored in any way, shape or form. These aren't even affiliate links. I was just really excited for these clothes and I'm so excited to share it with you. So Abercrombie & Fitch, you've redeemed yourself in my mind since the middle school days. And for that, I am very thankful. So don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that subscribe subscribe button and click that bell icon so you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you've made it this far in the video, I'll let you in on a little secret. Mondays are going to be fashion days and Thursdays are going to be like everything else. So beauty, lifestyle, all that. But Monday specifically is always going to be a fashion themed video. So if that is what you're interested in, definitely make sure you have that bell icon turned on and I can't wait to see you later. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.